It's been revealed that Jeff Bezos has made NASA an offer they can't refuse. At the moment he's trying to secure a manned lunar lander with his company Blue Origin, with reports suggesting that he's offered the space agency $2 billion. His company, Blue Origin, NASA and SpaceX, have recently been making headlines, and this was because NASA decided to award SpaceX with a 2.9 billion lunar lander contract. This didn't go down well with Bezos, and he's currently in the middle of filing complaints with the Government Accountability Office, saying that NASA is clearly favouring SpaceX over Blue Origin. Bezos went on to say that NASA giving SpaceX the contract was a mistake, but noted that it isn't too late to take it back, and that he would give them an offer they couldn't refuse, saying that he has big plans when it comes to space travel. Some have suggested this is one of the reasons why he's taken a step back from Amazon, and that he now plans to use his time wisely building giant rockets, and building large structures on nearby celestial bodies. Bezos also announced that his company Blue Origin will be taking people to the moon by 2024, and that it plans to establish a lunar base. The Blue Moon Lander, which is an unnamed spacecraft, was recently revealed to the world, and it's reported that it's able to carry up to 6.5 metric tons for deposits on the moon, which they've said will allow them to start building a framework on the lunar surface. Blue Origin said the following on their website, Blue Moon is a flexible lander delivering a wide variety of small, medium and large payloads to the lunar surface. Whether cargo or crew, its capabilities to provide precise and soft landings will enable a sustained human presence on the moon. The cargo lander variant is designed to provide reliable, repeatable and cost-effective delivery of a wide variety of payloads to the lunar surface. Based upon configuration and mission, we can land up to several metric tons of payload on the moon, ranging from large rovers, habitats and ascent stages. The service facilitates greater opportunities to conduct science, on-site resource utilisation, infrastructure development and logistics missions for government, academia and commercial customers. End quote. Bezos said the following. We've been given a gift this nearby body called the Moon. He continued to say that getting resources off the Moon takes 24 times less energy than getting it off the Earth. He continued to say the following. We need the new engine and that's what this is. It's time to go back to the Moon and this time stay. Some people find these comments interesting. One user had this to say. Fair play to Jeff Bezos. He's reached a point where he can offer the biggest space agency in the world billions of dollars to change their mind on their decision. There really aren't many people that can do that. While another person said this, Space exploration is important, and I feel like we need to understand the space around us. There will come a point when we may have to get off this planet and look for other resources, but I can't see humans ever making it out of the solar system. All of those billions of dollars would be better spent on our planet. I'm not saying that money fixes problems because the majority of times it doesn't, but what it can do is help a lot of people. As of right now, Blue Origin is looking to the stars, and hope that within the next few years, they will establish a large base on the moon. Recently, scientists have carried out a variety of tests on the moon, NASA officials and researchers have often attempted to theorise the contents of the moon, as well as its surface materials ever since the beginning of the space age, and efforts to retrieve lunar material. There was hope that the moon would prove to be a far more capable life-bearing body, as it's the closest celestial body to Earth. However, evidence retrieved from the moon after the original moon landings proved that estimates could not be more inaccurate. Unlike our planet, the moon isn't protected by a magnetic field of any kind, and is constantly bombarded by a significant amount of helium-3, as a product of solar wind radiation. It's this constant bombardment that would lead to the lack of any life-bearing developments on the moon of any kind, 
including any attempt at finding naturally occurring water on the surface of the moon. Oddly enough, however, recent satellite imaging has provided what the National Aeronautics and Space Administration has referred to as unambiguous data that shows evidence of large reservoirs of water on the surface of the moon. The satellite evidence published in the September 25th issue of the journal Science provided details that deepen lunar craters that are shadowed from solar radiation. There are large pockets of ice that could store enough water to allow for the establishment of permanent lunar bases. The evidence of these ice craters provides evidence that the water molecules on the moon are incredibly mobile, allowing them to find their way to the craters and pooling at the bottom. In fact, planetary geologist Carly Peters said the following, If the water molecules are as mobile as we think they are, even a fraction of them, they provide a mechanism for getting water to those permanently shadow craters, then this opens up a whole new avenue of lunar research, but we have to understand the physics to utilise it. Not only does this discovery have profound implications for lunar research and planetary geology, but it also provides enough evidence and support for the establishment of lunar colonisation that could see itself in use within the next few decades, as NASA has been working on their Moon to Mars mission that will use our orbital satellite as a launching point for rocketry and further colonisation of the Martian surface. NASA is at the forefront of space exploration. They've been vocal about how they want to carry on sending humans and robots into the cosmos, and that hopefully in the near future we will have bases on the Moon and Mars. These missions have only inspired people to dream about the wonders of our universe. SpaceX has announced their plan to send over 1 million people to Mars by 2050. Not only this, but they plan to build an entire city for these people, in the hopes that a new civilization can be started. So what do you make of these recent announcements? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.